Hello everybody, my name is Grimask, and you know the drill. I'm welcoming you to yet another script slash plugin showcase. In today's plugin showcase, I brought to you GUI Plus. But before starting, as always, guys, I'm streaming on Twitch every Friday, Sunday, Saturday, and Monday. You should come there if you have any questions about anything regarding Minecraft. We do play other things too, like Valorant, Fortnite, CSGO, Genshin Impact and all kind of new games. So, Among Us too. So yeah, that's that's a game that we play sometimes too. Let's get to the video. To plugin, it's easy to install as always. Just download your jar, drop it into your plugin folder, restart your server, and you'll have access to the commands that I'm gonna type right now. And well, it's uh, it's GUI or GUI depends on people. I just prefer to say it GUI because I don't know. It feels it feels it feels better to me. So yeah, don't 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 judge me. All right. So we have GUI create, GUI delete, GUI open, GUI open for, uh, GUI edit, GUI list, and GUI reload. I do have a GUI already on my server. We have shop. Oops. Shop. So this is the shop right here. You see, I have like multiple things that brings you to multiple different like uh, types of shops on my on my server. So you can like buy everything. You can buy gyms here. You can buy food. And sell food out the food it's uh, buyable and sellable uh, a pet shop from where you can buy pets there are only three available but I am planning to add two more here and two more here just to make it more spicy and that's it and I have as you can see I have a back menu all the time so you can go back not from the token one because the token one is not actually from the GUI plugin it is a different plugin for the uh, for the token shop here all right so let me show you how to create a GUI because this is why you're here, right? So let's do GUI create and we'll have to set a name for the GUI on be uh, test right here. And we have the test. You can edit the items right here and we're gonna go, it's already created so we have to do edit after that. Uh, we have change name, we have a full copy of GUI, we can just copy the, the whole GUI or half copy of the GUI, I don't know why would you do that, but uh, anyway. You can also increase the size of this, so was that 52 is the max of this? No, it's uh, okay, it's 54. 54, I always forget, don't judge me, alright? And now if we go here, you'll see that we have a very blank space. What we can do is fill, fill them up just to make it look more professional. Like we can put like some corners with uh, some gray, um, gray stained glass. I have two of the gray stained glass. We can put purple here to make it look nice. There you go. And that's about it. And those, those will not do anything. You can also rename these to like no name so they don't bother you uh let's let's set up a teleportation one first and then we'll do then we'll do a little i'm gonna show you how to make a shop as well so right click this to make a teleportation one you have the left click action for the command executive so we have multiple executive here you can do um left click action shift left click action middle click action right click action shift uh right click action all those are very good for the shop so you can do um click to buy and shift uh click to buy uh to buy a stack right click to sell and shift right click to sell a stack so this is what you can do for example let me add here a name so you click that and then you'll go to the chat i'll be i'm gonna do teleport we're just gonna do teleport right and there you go this is the teleport and then we can add a command you can add different commands you can do tp player with oh uh so here we're gonna set the lore of this so we'll say uh this will teleport you you can set this with colors as well so i'm gonna set this with uh, a e color just like that it looks pretty nice and there you go this will teleport to you and uh you can add as many lords as this like lets you so until here uh, that's pretty good 
now let's just set up the action so you can do it different you can do it two different times the teleportation you can uh, teleport a, a player uh, to some coordinates and you actually have information all over these things so if you go back here uh where is that wait 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 wait, wait. so if you go back to um, edit test right here you will see that you will get information on every single thing here so you don't have to worry about that uh those things if you go to the click here you'll get um uh some like examples on how to do certain things so yeah a uh, player example gui open test that doesn't work anymore you have to do player um example gui open for uh, player test because uh they changed this and I didn't update my my uh, message thing. So yeah, that's on me. That's not on them. That doesn't say it right. All right. So for this, it's gonna be the teleportation thing, and we're gonna say uh, just we're gonna just do the warp normal thing, warp PBM just like that. And we're just gonna make it day and edit this again and this is this works already so if you do gui um open test i will open my test and if i click this it will teleport me to the pvm arena that's as easy as that you can make this of course you can make this like cost money so if you right click this and you put you can make it so it costs uh items or money for example so let's let me do uh, this thing first right there you go. We put a, a log in there, and if we don't have a log, we can't teleport. So let me test this for you. Open test. We'll see that we have uh, we have uh, uh, 60, 62 logs here, and if we click, we did warp to the PVM, and it took us a log. If we don't have the logs, for example, and we do open test, and we try to open, you don't have the enough items to afford this, right? We can also do this uh, with money, so we're just gonna do edit test. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. All right, we go here, we remove this, and we go back, and we do a price, and we do a hundred dollars, and we go back to open. Boom! It took us the money. Doesn't say, but you can set up a message for that too. So yeah, it's it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. This thing is so customizable, you don't even know. So let's make the um, the buyable thing now. I'm gonna show you how to buy a log. The spruce log name, it's alright. So let me just add like a buy dot. We're gonna do ten dollars for example, and we do here. Oops, well, uh, I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna make this uh, I don't know white because I like it how it looks. So we have white spruce uh, ten dollars. Well, uh, the name it, I don't like that the name is like that, but you know, um, by the wood. <laughs> I'm just gonna set the name as by the wood. All right, spruce log. Right. So this is easy. You click here. You make this to cast a certain price. Uh, whoops, not a certain item. A certain price. We're gonna do ten dollars because I said ten dollars. So set this a certain price and then just do this. Server give to player. No, wait, it's not give to, it's give. I got used to the new commands that uh, developer said it's give to. I don't know why they do that. Uh, give player. And that's it. You just go, you just open the GUI right now, open the test and we'll be able to buy as many as we want. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make it to sell as well. So you right click this. Again, you go to the right click, you set up an item price because you wanna sell the item. So we do one item, right? And we add this as uh, five bucks, I guess. So server um, echo give player, just like that. You have to do it. You don't have to put a space here, so I'm warning you. Don't put the space here because it's not going to work. I don't think so. Well, it didn't work back in the days. Why would it work now? So there you go. We got the $5. Of course, if we go to the edit, we will want to set up another lower here. So we're going to do, I don't know. We have the buy here. There you go. Buy. We'll do sell. We'll do sell just like that. 
And that's it. That's how you do a shop. So open the test and we can buy and we can sell. And yes, we'll get the message when we when we sell. For the buy to show, to show up in um, a message, depending on what you have as a uh, as message, but you can do, for example, you can do a fast one on the click. I don't know if this works. I don't know if it works, but it's supposed to work. Now I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it works. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, there you go. See? So you, you can do that as, as to be a console messaging messaging the player. Or just... Uh, you can also change the format from this, from the console to, to do that. So you just remove the console thing in front and you just do a normal message like that. Whatever, but you need messages plug messaging plugins uh, or I'm not aware of how to do it like that. It might be existing somewhere, but I don't know exactly which one is supposed to be. So, whatever. Well, I think that was it. That that covered everything about the GUI+. Plus. There are more things that you can do with the plugin. So if you have any questions... Just just visit my Twitch channel. I'm streaming every Friday, Sunday, Saturday, and Monday. And I'm very active. I'm streaming for like about eight hours a day. So uh, you'll probably find me online. So yeah, any questions you have, come there and talk to me. And if you like this video, don't forget to press that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell. If you want more videos like these ones, thank you very much for watching. And see you guys next time. Bye-bye.